Hi. One of the questions I get asked quite often is how does self-help CBT work? And I guess in a sense I'll give you the short answer. It's a bit like this. Everything that you do is programmed and basically that means if you've done something once you remember how to do it again. That memory of how to do something again is a program. Now if it's a physical action it's a procedural program if it's um, a bringing up a memory of something or other, it's more likely to be, more likely to be an episodic program. Um, it could be how to feel about something, like what's my settled opinion about this. It could be an emotional program, but everything is a program. And in essence, um, that makes your life incredibly simple because if you've done something once, you know how to do it again. And even if you've not done something once, you know how to do something similar, in which case you'd load the same program and then probably uh, modify it as needed. So. Every psychological problem that you might be able to identify, or every problem that you have, or everything that you do, and you think, oh God, I wish I didn't do that, or I wish I didn't feel that, or I wish I didn't think that, <clears throat> everything that you really are is a result of a program that you've been running, giving you the outcome that you have. And basically it's as simple as that, right? Every problem you have is the result of running a program that gives you the outcome that you call the problem. So what does self-help CBT do? Well, we identify what the program is that's giving you the outcome you don't want and we change it. Simple as that. I, oh, <coughs> I almost never met a program giving you a bad outcome that was accurate or correct. So self-help CBT is a process by which we identify the things that are causing the problems that you have and we change them. <clears throat> so a lot of times when you go to see people like medical doctors, whatever, they treat the symptoms. Well, that's okay up to a point, but what we do with self-help CBT is we find the program that's causing the problem, we change it, delete it, modify it, whatever. And if you change the program, you don't get the outcome because the program is not running. So I know that's a simple explanation. It does take more time and effort than that. But if you think about the value, right? You change a program that's been giving you trouble for what? All of your life, potentially, and no longer you, you no longer have that program. That is a, is a big stuff. So I hope you get stuck into self-help CBT and find the value that it has for you.